Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use your ADAS Copilot mobile app. So in this case, I've already logged in, but I need to go ahead and use my app. So I find my app on my phone. I open it up and you'll see you have two choices. You have scan VIN barcode and you have view inspections. I'll start with view inspections. View inspections allows you to go in to view all of your previous ADAS inspections you are performed or completed. You'll notice I have all, I have pending, and I have completed at the top. So all means you're gonna be able to view all. You can also search by year, make, model, VIN, okay? Pending means I've started the inspection but haven't finished it. Completed means I've completed the ADAS inspection on this vehicle, okay? Go back to the main menu. Up at the top left, you've got your menu. You can view your profile, you can view about us, you can view your location, you can view our privacy policy, and then you can also um, log out. So that's your main menu, okay? Now, most of you are going to use this app to scan VIN barcodes uh, to identify particular ADAS technology in a vehicle. So in this case, I'm going to scan a VIN barcode. I'm going to go find the barcode on the car. In this case, I have it on my computer screen. And it tells me it's a 2020 Honda Civic with the VIN number. It asks me, is this the correct VIN? The answer is yes. Now, if you're a repair shop and you want to enter an RO number in, you can put an RO number in here. And if you're an appraiser and you don't care about an RO number, just hit next. And then what comes up are all the ADAS technologies on the vehicle. Now, I could choose to print a blank report, which will go into your portal, which will allow you to print it out. And then you can manually go around with the sheet of paper and check off uh, the, the ADAS technologies. In this case, I'm going to show you how to use the on-screen forms and all the things you can do with it. So again, you notice I have ADAS, cruise control, telematics, collision warning, prevention systems, lane departure systems. I have miscellaneous driving aids and parking systems on this Honda Civic. So if I want to understand what's under the adaptive cruise control, I simply hit the down arrow and it's now going to show me it's got adaptive cruise control. It's, it, it's got a manufacturer's name with low speed follow. It's got a stop and go function. It's got autonomous drive and fully level autonomous, or fully adaptive, okay? Now, if you want to understand where the adaptive cruise control sensors might be or cameras, you press on a little I, and it's going to explain to you where the systems are. They're typically, they typically use front cameras, radar, or laser modules that can be found behind the windshield, near the rear view mirror, as well as behind the front grille or under the bumper. So this is going to help your personnel, you and your personnel, Find this technology on the car to validate if it's there and if it's damaged. Now, if we find that the front end's damaged, I'm going to mark it damaged. And now you'll notice that that section has a red square around it. It marks the six, six out of six inspected, and it produces uh, a red triangle on the left. So what does the red triangle on the left mean? Well, I'm going to press on it. And it's telling me now, wait a minute, Frank, since you selected that this ADAS technology was damaged, it's telling me, well, if it's damaged R and R, R and I, there's a good chance this system will need a calibration. Please check the OE repair procedures to validate. So we're trying, again, to help your, your personnel and, you, and your company identify vehicle calibrations as well. Okay? So, and if you want to look what's in the telematics, I press down, it tells me, Telematics, okay, but this is okay, not damaged. Uh, I want to look at the collision uh, warning and prevention system. I can go down, and it tells me all the things it does. It gives me the manufacturer's name, tells me when it activates, tells me what kind of warnings it provides, if it breaks at low speed. And in this case, it has pedestrian, pedestrian avoidance, okay? Again, this is okay. Lane departure systems, I can look there, and again, it's telling me it has it. Um, and by the way, it does activate brakes and activate steering. So that means it's also lane keep assist. Okay, well, we're going to say that's okay. Now, what's the miscellaneous driving aids? Well, in this case, it has motion adaptive power, electric power steering and dynamic steering. So now, again, now you know this vehicle has, has uh, electric steering. But again, I'm going to say this is okay. And now we have park assist. I'm going to take a look at park assist. 
And in this case, um, we have rear is okay, rear is okay, parking sensors in the rear is okay. Uh, it's got a multi-angle rear camera, and it's got a camera in the rear. We're going to say everything in the rear is okay, so it's not damaged. I hit okay. So again, if, uh, that is how you would use your um, ADAS Copilot app. When I'm done, I hit submit. It's going to ask me, do you want to complete this inspection? I'll say yes. And once I've done that, you're taken back to the main menu, and that inspection report has been automatically emailed to you or the per people you have designated to uh, receive the reports. So again, hope this helps.